hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to check the user email ID exists or not in jQuery using web API and here we got the final output let's enter email ID charan at gmail.com if I click tab see here we got a message email ID is not available if you notice in our table, the charan at gmail.com is available. So, so this email ID we can't use. Suppose if I add charan12, see the email ID available. So, user can use this email ID to register to save the details in this table. For example, let's check the other example. Here the k at gmail.com is available which means a new user cannot use this email id. So we have to get the message the email id is not available. So let's add k at gmail.com tab. See here we got a message email id is not available. At the same when I enter jack tab see email id is not available jack also is present in our table if i enter jack12 this email id available if i remove 12 the email id is not available that's it we have implemented to consume web api into ajax jquery to check user email id available or not if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in web API, first we'll check the table in SQL Server Management Studio. The table name is a new user age which contains 6 columns. If you notice the third column is a U email which is a user email id. I want to check the user email id or not using web api after that we'll consume that web api in jquery so let's open visual studio for this video tutorial i'm creating a new web api application go to file new project and from the web templates i'm selecting asp.net web application and the dotnet framework i'm using 4.6.1 the application name is username exists web api jquery is a project name click ok and from the web templates i'm selecting web api click ok and the application is created successfully let's close this default window now open Solution Explorer. First in this project I am adding adword.net entity model. Right click the project name. Add. I am selecting adword.net entity data model. The model name is user email. Click OK. And from the model contents I am selecting the EF designer from database. Click next. Let's create a new connection. I'm adding server name user PC SQL Express. After adding SQL server name, now I'm selecting the database name. The table I have created in the sample DB. So I have selected the sample DB database. Test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got our connection string. And the connection string name is uh, sample DB entities. And I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file. Click next. And from the selected database objects, I'm expanding the tables folder as well as DBO. The table name is new user range. The table name is uh, new user range. I have selected that one. Click finish. And here we got our entity model is added to our project. After adding entity model, now open Solution Explorer. Let's minimize the references folder. 
I mean this project there is a controllers folder I am adding a new web API controller in this controllers folder right click the controllers folder add select the controller I'm selecting web API to controller empty add the controller name is user email is the web API controller add and here we got our API controller user email now first in this API controller I'm adding public I HTTP action result check user email check user email and this function is the HTTP method HTTP get HTTP get method now in this check user email I'm adding the variable string chk email after that let's add our connection string entity name sample db entities sd is equals to new sample db entities let's declare the variable variable result is equals to here we'll write the code to check whether the user email id exists or not so i'm adding the connection string entity object sd dot uh, our table entity name is a new user is dot to list method dot exist 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 method in this exist method I'm implementing the lambda expression dot I'm checking the user email column so here the condition is in this table the user email id exists here i am adding exclamation mark which is not exist dot equals method and this equals method takes two parameters the first one is the object value which is a string value is a check email id the second parameter is a string comparison so let's add the string comparison dot current culture ignore case semicolon our return ok method is the final step and this return ok I am adding the result I am adding this result that's it we have added the code to check whether the user email id exists or not now before consume this web api into jquery first we require this web api url for that let's browse this api google chrome and here we got the default output of that project which is a home page now we require the web api url after the host name i'm adding api forward slash after that i'm adding the api controller name which is the user email I'm adding API controller name. Enter. And here we got the results of this web API in the XML file format. It's showing some error message. No HTTP resource was found that matches this request URL. The reason, if you notice in our API controller we are passing the string parameter so let's pass this parameter check email question mark check email is equals to now let's enter the email id in our table I'm adding just for the example charan at gmail.com charan at gmail.com if I press enter I will get I'll get the results false because the charan at gmail.com is already available in this table. For example, if I add charan 123, which is not available, 123, if I type enter, I'll get true here. And charan123 at gmail.com is true. 
which means this email id is available so now let's consume this web api into jquery so switch back to the coding part stop debugging open solution explorer now in this project i'm adding a simple html page right click the project name and i'm selecting html page the html page name is user email exits click ok and here we got our html page which contains some default html5 code now first in this between the body i'm adding the center tag center in the center tag i'm adding the headers h2 consume web api into jquery to check user email available or not from SQL Server database after headings I am adding the horizontal line now after the horizontal line I am adding one simple text box control to enter the email ID uh, is a label name enter email after that I am adding input type is equals to text ID of the text box control text email and I am adding the placeholder enter email ID let's close the text box control after text box control I am adding another element HTML element it's a span element to display the the message whether the user email ID exists or not so span I'm adding the ID span message and that's it we have added the designing part in this body section now we are implementing the jQuery functionality now between this header section when we are implementing the jQuery functionality first we require this jQuery reference link so for that open solution explorer in the project there is a scripts folder expand that one notice in the scripts folder there is a bunch of jQuery files I require the jQuery 1.10.2 min.js just drag and drop this link on our HTML page after that I will write the code let's add this thing at the bottom put the script tag in the script tag I'm declaring a function um, chk email check email is a function name now in this function I'm declaring a variable email id is equals to dollar between double quotes I'm adding we are checking the email id from this text box control so I'm adding the id of the text box control hash text box control dot val method after that after that we'll add the ajax function only dollar dot ajax in this ajax i'm adding the properties first add the semicolon here the first ajax method type and between double quotes is a get because our function name is a http get so i'm adding the type is get then the url the web url name let's copy here is equals to up to x is equals to between double quotes paste the url plus i'm adding email id comma content type 
between double quotes application forward slash json semicolon cassette is equals to utf-8 comma and the next and the next method i am adding the data type which is a json comma and the last function is a success let's add the function a result and this result i'm declaring a variable message is equals to dollar between double quotes i want to display the message in this span tag so let's add the span tag hash span tag semicolon if a result here in this if condition in this if condition if the email is available or not the first if the result um, dollar not dollar mess this variable dot html method email id available available and i want to display this message in a green color mess dot for that i'm adding cascading styles between double quotes color comma green color else and the else part instead of writing the same code i'm pasting here email id is not available and i want to display this message in a red color that's it we have consumed the web api in this jquery ajax function now the final step we need to add this function name in the text box control the event i'm adding on key up event let's add the function name chk email that's it we have done the complete coding part first we have added the adio dot entity model after that we have created the api controller to check the user email id exists or not after that we'll consume the this web api into ajax jquery functionality now it's time to check the results google chrome and here we got the final output let's enter email id charan at gmail.com if i click tab so here we got a message email id is not available if you notice in our table the charan at gmail.com is available so so this email id we can't use suppose if i add charan12 see the email id available so user can use this email id to register to save the details in this table for example let's check the other example here the k at gmail.com is available which means a new user cannot use this email id so we have to get the message the email id is not available so let's add k at gmail.com tab see here we got a message email id is not available at the same when i enter jack tab see email id is not available jack also is present in our table if i enter jack12 this email id available if i remove 12 the email id is not available that's it we have implemented to consume web api into ajax jquery to check user email id available or not